Uh, well, welcome. Uh, this week we are talking about children's ministry. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed the videos so far. We've been excited about making these videos and trying to help us understand all about the vision of the church and different things like that. So we're excited for this week as we're talking about children's ministry, the vitalness of just grabbing a hold of some different children in their younger ages and, and trying to teach them the gospel of Jesus Christ and what the Bible says and just the truth of God's word, especially in a world that they're growing up in, in a culture where Every day, truth seems to be changing, but we know that the truth is always the same yesterday, today, and tomorrow. So, children's ministry is today. So, Danny, uh, what would you think about children's ministry? Well, I am. Uh, it's, uh, it's probably the most important part of raising kids and putting them into a church that's loving, uh, that cares about your children. Maybe the first time that they might be exposed to outside love that's not in the home. And, and uh, we, we want our church to be of that nature. Uh, the uh, teachers, uh, they, really, uh, they really grab hold of the kids and really make them feel comfortable. They, some churches may not even, uh, they don't feel comfortable. Children's church is really, really important. Michael? Well, to build off of that, I think the best way for me to communicate my view is when we first came to Cross Point, we uh, we were in the auditorium, we're in the school, and uh, the music started to play. And for my wife and I, uh, it we just started to weep because of how we felt worship we were worshipful of God because of the way things were being run uh, and the music was being played and the talent was there and the prayer was uh, spontaneous and genuine and biblical and but our kids then climbed into our arms as we sang and uh, we held them there and that was the first time uh, that that had happened naturally for us. And in the midst of having a kid around below the ages of five, two kids below the age of five, we felt uh, like there was hope here and that church wasn't suppo supposed to be stressful for us. And then we didn't realize that 20 minutes in uh, that our kids are going to be walking off and they're excited to go see some of their friends from school. There's people there with smiles who are excited to see them. And they go and they learn Bible lessons. Um, while my wife and I uh, are, are able to listen and be taught. And then they come back with something tangible in their hands. A card about uh, a character they learned about in the Bible. The age appropriate questions to get not steering away from the gospel. So that first experience for us is one of the reasons we wanted to be a part of Cross Point is we felt cared for and felt like our kids were being fed through worship and through uh, teaching that was appropriate for them at the age group. Uh, but on the other side, I've been to churches where there's a sign on the door that says children aren't allowed into the worship service. So this is more of a, a hybrid that we have here that it's not a requirement for kids to leave, but uh, it's a ministry to them to meet them where they're at. And uh, that, I think, ties in with the passage that we want people to read today about uh, what is it that your child needs to be met by Jesus and to go meet Jesus. Okay. It's good. We have a lot of opportunities at Cross Point. Uh, we have a nursery great children's church where we do the gospel project, which is unbelievable curriculum that we were able to start from the very beginning of Cross Point four and a half years ago. Uh, and every three years in that curriculum, uh, your child will be able to go through the entire Bible, uh, which is amazing. The Lord things that I never learned until a lot later in my life. 
Then we also have different things as outreaches, um, the VBS and the park, which is a great way uh, for people to get involved. And it's also community driven to where it's outdoors and it's in the community and it's in a park where it's very public. And so we're excited always about VBS. Christmas program every Christmas is for the children to learn uh, the gospel and what Christmas really stands for. Uh, and then they're able to come in for the church and hopefully they feel valued in that. And then we're always looking for more people. More people to teach, more people to help, more people to just do the encouraging that Michael's talking about, we, and the loving that uh, Danny's talking about, to where they just love on the kids, teach the kids, be with the kids. So if you're interested in that at all, we'd love to have you get plugged in and hop out with that. The verses that you need to look at this week, Mark 10, 13 through 16, and that's where they're bringing children to Jesus, and the disciples were rebuking them, and Christ said, no, let the children come to me. And he blessed them and taught them and, and just spoke with them and had the importance of that. And then also Ephesians 6, 1 through 4, it talks about how we should bring children up, not to provoke them, but to discipline and instruct them. And so I just ask that you look at those verses really intently this week, talk about them. And these videos, again, are, are not to dive really deep with us, but for you to get into your groups and really start talking about them. We're just kind of scratching the surface every week here, but for you to get into your groups, dive into it, discuss it. And we're excited for what you can find out about these things that we are doing here at Crossport. Have a good week.